In a close game against a conference foe on the road, big players make the difference. But let's be honest, at the pit, sometimes one play can make a big difference. For high post to Drew Gordon with a handoff to Tony Snell. He'll drive on Deshaun Stevens, got double teamed. Deshaun, steal, ahead, the Aztecs. Need to slow it down, Jamal did. Then he found Deshaun, up, slam dunk. Slam dunk over Drew Gordon by Deshaun Stevens. He has such a hype over him, like with the NBA and things like that, but Definitely was a great feeling. I mean, I like dunking on anybody in general, but <laughs> that one felt more better than all the others. Deshaun Stevens is a contributor in ways not found on a stat sheet. He knows his role. Like the New Mexico game, down 10 to nothing, it was his turn to help turn things around. When he made the sub, it was me, Garrett, and LB, and on the bench, we just were sitting around watching, and we noticed, like, it's time to pick up, so we felt like it was our time to show that I think that's what most of our team does when one's down another one decides this is the time to step up we all like to play we all play hard like every time we get on the court but if one's in a slump then the other one plays to a better level in order to pick up for that slump so I think we just level each other out he is so athletic and so willing to learn and he, he never has anything other than yes sir no sir it's never I have the answers uh, and that's the beauty of Deshaun. I think I'm a fast learner. I don't think I'm up to date. I'm actually never satisfied with like where I am. I would like to learn like in every aspect of the game that I can learn. So um, I never want to say that like I'm great or outstanding at something. I would rather say that I'm just better at it or I'm getting better at it at the time. The hunger to learn even got in the way of basketball. And that's why Stevens doesn't have varsity high school experience on his resume. I didn't think I could manage my time like with schoolwork and basketball. And I used to go to school in the Valley, so it was long bus rides. And I would just go home, go to sleep, not finish homework and things like that. So um, I just decided to stop and pick up my grades. Height certainly wasn't on Stevens' side his sophomore year of high school. He was just 5'10", but that summer he grew 5 inches, causing him to rethink basketball. He ended up at Santa Monica City College where he grew another five inches. At six foot eight, he had to rethink his position on the basketball court. It was crazy because um, actually I was shorter, so I played more of a guard type position. Like I would just shoot and dribble a lot. Like I didn't even see the inside of the, the paint like at all. <laughs> but um, when I grew, I just started playing more and more in the paint. I started getting used to it and now I just live in there. Stevens doesn't let his lack of experience get in the way. In fact, his approach reflects a team trying to follow in the footsteps of last year's success. Of course, we're not the same as last year's team. They were like a lot more athletic, probably a lot more talent, but I think with this team, we have enough heart to pick up for the talent and athleticism that we're missing. Very proud and, and excited that we have him in our program. And we're, we're better served to have him. He, he, a coach's dream, I've said that before, and every player, every player on this team thinks the world is the shot.